This lesson is going to cover inserting floors. If you come to your building tab up the top and select floors, just drop down the list. What you've got is you can put a floor in by a room, you can put a floor in by perimeter, or you can put floors in by picking points. Now what I'm going to do is just show you how to do the rooms first. So we just select that. It'll open up your catalog on the right hand side. Now let's say for instance we want to start putting carpet in the rooms. If I do that, if I click on carpet, and I want that in the bedroom over here, if I pick a point, you can actually see the perimeter of the carpet going in, but it is a little bit difficult sometimes to see it. It's best if you come to your display mode and go into the pattern view. So now you, what you can see there is you can see that it's just shaded the area there. So if I come back to carpet, pick in the robe, I want carpet in there, I want carpet in that bedroom, in that robe, I don't want it in the bathroom, so I want it in bedroom two and the robe there, and I want it down here in bedroom one and the walk-in robe, all right? Also the living. So now you can see with the display mode set to pattern, you can see the shaded areas is where I'm going to put the carpet. Now I'll go and put my wet area floor tiles. This is just how I've set the catalog up, so I'm going to break it up into the different quantities. So the wet area floor tiles, I want that and I want that in the WC, just pick a point on the floor, in the bathroom and in the ensuite. Notice how it's got the hatch patterns on it. Now for my living area floor tiles, I might come into the family kitchen area, the entry, um, the dining and also the hallway up here and also in the living. So now you'll notice that I've got the floor coverings throughout the house. All right. That's by using floors by room. All right. We'll cover the parameter in a, in a moment. All right. But just for the rooms, that's what we're doing. Thank you.